Every year in February, Job Corps students around the country have the opportunity to participate in Groundhog Job Shadow Day. Here's a quick look at what some students from MTC centers were able to experience. Jacksonville Job Corps students shadowed staff at several offices, including a local charity, an insurance company, a building and design firm, and the office of U.S. Senator Bill Nelson. Painting students from Inland Empire learned about the daily operations of a local paint store, while finance and business students learned about filing, data entry, and customer service at the Habitat for Humanity retail store. Students from the Potomac Job Corps Center got some hands-on auto repair experience at the AYT Institute in Washington, D.C. SGA students from Earl C. were able to visit the Kentucky State Capitol and meet with elected officials. They were also given a tour of the governor's office and were even allowed to sit at his desk. Facility maintenance students from Cincinnati helped out a daycare provider by repairing walls, painting, and finishing electrical work. Another group of students went to a health insurance registration call center and helped make follow-up calls. Students from the Security and Protective Services trade at the Hawaii Job Corps Center got to learn some of the ins and outs of the security profession during their visit to King's Detective and Guard. Students from the Denison Center shadowed several local businesses, including a hospital, a large manufacturing company, and a lumber warehouse. Dayton Job Corps student Brian Cassidy spent the day at U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown's office. He learned about drafting a letter from a senator and how the office reaches out to the community. And students from Keystone Job Corps Center shadowed staffers from Congressman Lou Barletta's district office. The Cascade Center played a big part in the grand opening of the Cedro Woolley Chamber of Commerce. Carpentry and painting students spent several weeks working on renovations and culinary arts students catered the grand opening. And the nearby Burlington Chamber of Commerce recently recognized the center as the business of the year for continuously working toward educating and training youth to become future leaders. The carpentry program at the Jacksonville Job Corps teamed up with the city of Jacksonville to help build ramps for disabled citizens. This partnership with the city allows students to make a difference in the community while fine-tuning their skills. Four female students from the Clements Center recently had the chance to be models for a Job Corps photo shoot. The photos will be used in Job Corps marketing materials to promote female recruitment. The Clearfield Job Corps Center held a joint meeting with the Center's Community Relations and Career Technical Education Councils. Attendees were able to browse trade demonstration booths and talk to students before taking part in delicious luncheon prepared by culinary arts students. The Hawaii Job Corps Center received the Good Neighbor Award from the City and County of Honolulu for their contributions to improving the quality of life in their community. And the Maui site recently held an open house and luncheon for their employer partners. Representatives from 16 different companies attended the event, which resulted in increased program awareness and stronger partnerships. Students at the Atlanta Job Corps Center recently participated in several workshops designed to help them prepare for full-time employment. More than 50 guest speakers shared valuable tips on developing successful careers. Uh, we talked about setting career, career goals, um, about being dedicated, um, and about having confidence in what it is that you want to do, and also having confidence within yourself.